guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today what we're going to be making is we're going to be making a vegetable salad with my version of Caesar dressing without anchovies. And we are making my homemade broccoli and cheese soup. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for being here. So for this first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop up the broccoli and then I'm going to put it in my steamer and I'm going to steam it for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so while that's steaming, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up the vegetables for the salad. And what I have are leeks, cucumbers, and I'm also adding some chopped red bell pepper that I used in a different recipe recently. And I'm going to chop all that up so it'll be romaine, leeks, cucumbers, and red bell pepper that's going into my vegetable salad. Okay, so I chopped up the romaine lettuce and what I'm going to do now is chop up the leeks. And what I did with the leeks is they have a base that's kind of woody. So you only want to eat so much of it. You just want to eat the bottom portion of it. I chopped up the very bottom portion of it, which was the root, the very tiny portion of it. And I chopped off its stalk so that what you have is just the inside of it, basically. So I'm going to chop these into slices and I'm going to add them to the salad. I changed my mind. I decided that I'm just going to add some of the leeks to the salad and then I'm going to add the rest of it to the soup, the broccoli and cheese soup. Okay, so the salad is finished and what I did is I took video of it for you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop up the vegetables for the soup and I'm going to show you video on that. So what we're going to do is take two garlic cloves and process them in the food processor. Then what I'm going to add is one half stick of unsalted butter to the pan. I'm going to put the processed garlic into the pan along with the leeks. Now I'm going to add some salt and pepper to the pan, to the vegetables, to season them, and you can do it liberally. And just go ahead and saute that. And then go ahead and add that to a big pot. And what you're going to do next is add four cups of vegetable broth. The next thing you're going to add is one cup of sour cream. You can use whatever you want. I'm just using Kroger brand. And because I just realized I'm out of cream cheese, what you can use as an alternative is cottage cheese. So what you do is you just put one cup, which is equal to eight ounces in your food processor with a splash of lemon juice. And you just, cream, you just go ahead and blend that up so it's a smoothie consistency or texture, and then you can add it to your soup. And so I just added that to my pot and what I did is I turned my burner on to medium low and I'm going to allow the flavors to blend together and slowly simmer. What I'm going to do now is make the keto Caesar dressing and to do that I'm going to add one cup of mayonnaise to the food processor. So I just wanted to mention that if you don't like that much mayonnaise, or maybe you don't have that much mayonnaise, let's say you have a half a cup, what you can do is you can substitute the other half cup for plain yogurt, and it can be either uh, whole fat or it can be Greek yogurt or sour cream. The next thing you're going to add is one half cup of olive oil. 
Now it's one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, six garlic cloves, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and for this I'm using reduced sodium soy sauce. Now it's one teaspoon of miso. And what we're going to do now is just pour a little bit of the dressing in because it really depends on how much salad you have. So you don't wanna make it swim. You just wanna pour a little bit in, mix it up, make sure it just covers it. It's just coating it so it's not swimming. And then you're going to add your Parmesan cheese on the top. So what I'm gonna do now is take the rest of the stick of butter and I'm going to put it in the soup pot and let that blend in with the other flavors. And what I'm going to do now is line a baking sheet with parchment paper. And I'm going to take a block of sharp cheddar cheese and I'm going to cut it into slices. And I'm going to put it on my uh, baking sheets and I'm going to sprinkle it with paprika and put it in the oven at about 375 degrees. Because what we're making now is we are making keto cheddar crisps. And the reason we're doing this is to top the salad with, and that's because of the fact that I really don't like croutons. Plus I can't really have it unless it's low carb bread. And once your oven gets up to cooking temp and you put it on 360 or 75 degrees, you're just probably gonna leave it in there for about six or seven minutes, but just take a look at it and make sure it doesn't over brown or overcook and take it out. Now we're on to the spices and the first ingredient I'm going to add is one teaspoon of smoked paprika to the soup pot. The next ingredient is one teaspoon of ground mustard. So it's one teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder and salt and pepper. Now it's one half teaspoon of thyme and then one quarter teaspoon each of cayenne pepper and nutmeg. Your last ingredient is two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then go ahead and give it a stir and cover that. Okay, so the cheese crisps are finished and I'll show you what they look like. Now what we're gonna do is add about a cup of cheddar cheese to the soup. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk to the uh, broccoli soup because I wanna make it a little bit more creamy. Okay, so what I did is I added about half a container of regular plain yogurt and it gives it a little bit more of a creamy texture, creamy uh, flavor. But um, again, I still wouldn't skimp on the cream cheese. Okay, so as you can see from the video there, there's my salad, my soup, and a little bit of chicken. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait before I eat everything so I won't be taking a bite of it. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. Have a good one. Until next time, guys. Bye.